Vinny Vincent save Kiss. And I know a lot of people have problems with that because they just, you know, a lot of people out there want to believe this narrative that Gene Simmons and Paul Stanley, the, you know, longest running members of the band, saved it uh, from its various pitfalls. But that's just not true. I mean, in the 1970s, a gentleman by the name of Peter Criscola, Peter Chris, the original drummer, penned a song called Beth. Beth is what saved Destroyer. There's just, that, that's not up for debate. Uh, the Elder, uh, well, uh, Dynasty is when the band sold out. Peter Chris wasn't part of Dynasty. He was, had one song on there, but really wasn't part of the album. Uh, Unmasked saw the beginning of their demise. The Elder was a flop. Creatures of the Night, I mean, you know, it was a disaster. Uh, but there was a little bit of hope in Creatures. And that came by way of three songs written by Vincent Cusano, later Vinnie Vincent. And then Lick It Up put the band back on the map. And then again, towards the end of the 80s, they were hitting a slump. You know, Hot in the Shade was like all over the place. Paul Stanley even said that during the 80s, Gene Simmons was largely absent. They were putting out a lot of junky music. And uh, even said that Gene bought him a Porsche uh, just to, you know, tell him that he was sorry that he was back in the band. But, you know... You can only neglect a band for so long. And thank the Lord, you know, Vinnie Vincent came back and uh, helped them out on Revenge, which again, almost 10, no, pretty much 10 years to the time before that, that he saved the band with the, the three songs on Creatures and the, the, the innovative groundbreaking Lick It Up. So again, Vinnie, so it's not even that Vinnie Vincent saved Kiss once, he saved Kiss twice. Because another hot in the shade, the band would have been playing the Holiday Inn or the Howard Johnson.